thank you for watching this video. Uh, I made this video at the request of some of the viewers of the last video. They said, show us the dam. Uh, I said, okay, I will take my drone and my camera and head out there tomorrow uh, and see what I can see. We were pretty surprised to see how swift the river was moving uh, at this part, flowing down from the tobacco side of the river all the way down past to where the dam was out the new channel. There was, you'll see there's actually a series of waterfalls and some pretty pretty big waterfalls, eight or ten feet high, and um, upstream of the dam there was some some good sized rapids, probably class two and three rapids. Um, it was interesting to see, definitely different. Um, yeah, well, if, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. All the support for the channel, the better. Uh, and thanks. Please enjoy. So right here you can see Brook standing there on the left-hand side as I fly out. That was the, the where the, the dam had begun, the earthen portion of the dam. And as I fly closer, you can see the concrete portion of the dam where that earthen barrier had tied in. So it's almost a 200-yard section that's missing. Uh, and as I fly up there, you can see some of those rapids that I was talking about, some swiftly descending water coming down. Uh, and here's another shot of the dam from, from the... Uh, from the upstream side, uh, the concrete portion still intact, the spillway section still intact, uh, and then as I pan to the left here, you can see that it was uh, the earthen section is what blew out um, in the flood, coming in from the back side here, and then uh, gives you a good perspective on uh, the brand new channel that it cut to the left hand side of the uh, of the river there, uh, and those. Um, <clears throat> power lines still standing actually uh, which was surprising and you can see the the slack water in the back channel there um, <clears throat> as I pan over to the right so perched way atop of the the earthen portion of the dam there's a couple different pontoons actually not bad pontoons they look like they were just in storage maybe on someone's dock uh, or, or left out and they got swept away um, my uncle, who owns property on the lake, actually took his pontoon off of the hoist during the flood event, pulled it up into the yard, which was flooded at the time, and tied it off to a tree. So when uh, the floodwaters receded, his pontoon was just left sitting there in the yard, and he was able to pick it up easily, unlike some people who were not so lucky. So as I fly in here, you can really get a good perspective on just how fast... Uh, some of this water is losing elevation. Some of these are, are some, like I was saying before, some pretty serious rapids. Uh, and <clears throat> frankly, I was almost shocked to see this. I didn't expect this. Um, there aren't anything, there isn't anything like this in, in this part of the state or any uh, anywhere in the Saginaw Valley. There's no swift moving water like this. So to see water on the on the descent like this is, is frankly surprising. And uh, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll, I'll run into my whitewater kayak eventually. So about uh, 200 yards downstream from where uh, from where the dam was, I was flying my drone down there, and I realized, wow, uh, there's some pretty serious turbulence down there. And as I got closer, uh, I realized I was looking at waterfalls. Uh, so Brooke and I ended up taking a little walk down there and, and realized, wow, these are, are serious waterfalls, uh, 8 or 10 feet waterfalls, and um, they were cut out of the brand new channel, so it, it's all sediment. I don't know... If there'll be waterfalls forever, I don't think so. Uh, but nonetheless, impressive and, and actually quite beautiful. And, and this may be one of my favorite things of, of all the junk and whatnot that they found at the bottom. This is an old steam shovel um, that's been widely reported on from the early 20th century. Uh, there was a little sign on the shovel that said, you know, please... Uh, do not disturb this. As you can see there in the video, it, there's tracks and it almost looks like they're getting ready to mobilize to pull it out uh, and, and I think preserve it and maybe even restore it. So that'll be cool to see what comes of that eventually.